In my top 10 video, I said context is king. And a lot of you asked for the deep dive. How do you actually do context engineering? What goes into these markdown files or rule files? How do you structure them so that the AI stops making the same mistakes? Today, I'm going all in on this. This is the ultimate guide to rule files for your AI-assisted coding. Let's go. Hey, Alex here from Grit AI Studio. Anthropic just published their official guide to Claude MD files. And GitHub analyzed over 2,500 repositories to find what actually works. And I'm gonna break down exactly how to build these files step by step, so you can stop repeating yourself and start getting consistent results. If you watched the 10 tips video, you know I'm obsessed with compounding engineering. The idea that every interaction should teach your AI tools your patterns, your preferences, your corrections. Over time, they generate better code with less guidance. Eventually, we move from reactive to proactive. These rule files play a big role in how you make that happen. They're the foundation of compounding engineering. Set them up right and every future session starts smarter. Set them up wrong, or not at all, and you're back to explaining the same things over and over again. AI slop waiting to happen. Claude MD is Anthropic's approach for Claude code. It lives in your repository and Claude reads it at the start of every conversation. It becomes part of the system prompt, persistent context loaded automatically. Agents MD is equivalent for GitHub Copilot or Codex, just to name a few. And cursor rules work similar in cursor. Same concept, but different file name. Cursor also support Claude MD files. The underlying principle is identical across all of them. Give persistent context so you stop repeating yourself. Whatever tool you're using, these principles apply. So here's the pain this removes. And if you've been coding with AI for a while, you've definitely felt this. Without these files, every conversation starts cold. You explain your tech stack, you explain your folder structure, that you prefer type hints, that your API routes all start with slash API v1. Then you do it again tomorrow and the next day. Remember what I said in the 10 tips video? LLMs have a fundamental constraint, their attention budget. Too much context, performance degrades. Too little, hallucinations. The model fills in the blanks because it's trained to please you. A well-written context file hits that sweet spot. The AI already knows your patterns, it writes code that matches your style, it runs your actual test commands. It puts files in the right places. Small improvements to consistency compounded hundreds of times across a project. That's where the real value is. GitHub's analysis of more than 2,500 repositories found a clear pattern. The best context files cover six areas. Let me walk you through each one. Number one, commands. Put your actual executable commands early in the file. Not just npm, but npm test, npm run build. Include the flags that you actually use. The AI will reference these constantly. Number two, project structure. Give the AI a map of your project. What's in the source folder? What's in the test folder? Where do config files live? Simple directory tree does wonders. If you're using domain-driven design or a specific architectural pattern, say so. Number three, tech stack with versions. Don't say React project, say React 18 with TypeScript 5.3, Vite for bundling, Tailwind CSS for styling, and so on. Specifics matter because different versions have different APIs. You don't want the AI guessing which syntax to use. Number four, code style. One real code example beats three paragraphs of explanations. Show what good looks like in your code base. Naming conventions, error handling patterns, how you structure functions. Show it, don't tell. According to GitHub, number five, Git workflows. Branch naming conventions, commit message format, PR requirements. This is especially important if you're using agents to create branches and pull requests. Number six, boundaries. This is critical. Tell the AI what it should never do. Never commit secrets, never modify the vendor directory, never delete failing tests. The most common helpful constraint in GitHub's analysis, never commit secrets. 
Let me show you how I build one of these from scratch. In Claude code, you can use the slash init command. It explores your entire repository and writes a summary in your Claude MD file. You can use that even if you're not normally using Claude code. Just copy it into your favorite coding assistant. Claude scans your package files, existing docs, config files, code structure, and then it generates a starter file. Now, here's the important part. This is a starting point, not a finished product. The generated file catches obvious patterns, but misses the nuances of how your team actually works. Let me show you some examples of what I normally add. First, I'm making the commands more specific, the actual commands that I would typically run. Second, I try to provide workflow instructions. For this project, we write tests first. So I add when implementing new features, write failing tests first, then implement, then verify test pass. Third, adding boundaries. Never modify these files in migrations without explicit approval or never remove existing test cases. Always preserve backward compatibility in public APIs. Fourth, and this is where compounding engineering really kicks in, I add common gotchas, things that have bitten us before. The database connection pool exhausts if you don't close connections in tests, always use the test DB fixture, and so on. Every time you fix a painful bug, add a line here. Teach your AI coding assistant to learn from its mistakes. This is how you build institutional knowledge. Oh, and I said add a line here, but I of course meant ask your AI to add a line here. In Claude code, use the hash key to add the things you want Claude to remember. When you've gone through painful debugging and finally solved something, don't just move on. Say, summarize all the rabbit holes we went through so that we avoid these mistakes in the future. Then hit hash and add it to your Claude MD. Build the file through actual use. The best context files grow through friction, not upfront planning. Now let me show you something powerful that you can do in both Claude Code and in GitHub Copilot. Specialist agents. Instead of one general assistant, you create a team. Each agent has a specific role, specific knowledge, and specific boundaries. Here's a docs agent. It's an expert technical writer. It reads code from source and writes documentation to slash docs. It knows to run npm run docs, build, to check for broken links. And critically, it never modifies source code. That's a hard boundary. Here's the test agent. QA engineer persona. Writes tests, runs them, analyzes results, writes to the test folder and only that folder. Key boundary, it never removes a failing test. If a test fails, it investigates why it doesn't delete the evidence. This separation is powerful because each agent can be laser focused. The docs agent doesn't get confused by testing requirements and the test agent doesn't accidentally modify production code. And if you're using Claude code, remember that subagents have their own context window. Same principle applies. Define specialized subagents for different type of work. Let me give you the tips that have made the biggest difference for me. Tip number one, start simple and then expand through friction. Don't try to write a comprehensive file upfront. Start with the basics, command, structure, and the stack. Then every time the AI does something wrong, add a line to prevent it next time. Your Claude MD should evolve from real problems, not just theoretical concerns. Tip number two, keep it concise. The file loads into the context window every single time. Remember, context is precious. A 2000 line Claude MD eats into space for actual work. Every line should earn its place. Tip number three, code examples over explanations. Show, don't tell. A single example of your error handling pattern communicates more than a paragraph describing it. Tip number four, layer your files. You can have a Claude MD in your home directory for universal instructions, one in your repo root for project-wide context, and one in subdirectories for module-specific guidance. They stack, use this for monorepos or when different parts of your code base have different conventions. Tip number five, version control. This is documentation. Review it in pull requests. When conventions change, update the file. When someone joins the team, they get that AI context for free. Let me also tell you what doesn't work. You're a helpful coding assistant. That's way too vague. This tells the AI nothing useful. You might as well not have a file at all. I would also avoid putting commands at the bottom. The AI references commands constantly. Put them near the top, where they're easy to find and less likely to get pushed out of attention. Not defining boundaries. If you don't tell the AI what not to do, it will eventually do something destructive. Be explicit about protected files, directories, and actions. 
and you should definitely avoid stale information. A Claude MD file that references an old tech stack or deprecated patterns is worse than no file. It actively misleads. Keep it current. And of course, don't put any secrets in the file. This file often gets committed to version control. Never put API keys, credentials, or sensitive URLs in the file. One more advanced technique that ties back to the top 10 tips video. Remember I said each subagent has its own context window. Use that strategically. Here's the scenario. You've spent an hour debugging authentication. Now you want a security review of that code. Problem, all that debugging context colors the security analysis. Claude might overlook issues because it's still thinking about the fixes. The solution here is to tell Claude to use a subagent for the security review. That gives a fresh context and it focuses solely on vulnerabilities. Same goes for slash Claire. When you finish one piece of work and move on to something unrelated, clear the context. Your Claude MD stays loaded, the accumulated noise goes away. Think of it like the markdown trick that I mentioned in the 10 tips video. Summarize where we are, create next steps, put it in the markdown file. Clear and then new conversation. And then you can attach that file and you're in control of how you compact. Okay, I'll include a template in the description below so you can get started today. Start with the slash init command to generate the file from Claude. Describe your project, text stack, and give a map of your project with key directories. Be specific with versions. Tell your AI coding assistant about the tools and commands to use and provide examples, both good and bad. Specific workflows might include explore, plan, code commit for features, test-driven development for algorithmic work, or visual iteration for UI changes. Document your testing requirements, commit message format, and any approval steps. When your coding agent knows your workflow upfront, it structures work to match your team's actual processes rather than guessing. An example instruction might be something like this. Before modifying code in the following locations, consider how it might affect A, B, and C, construct an implementation plan, develop a test plan that will validate the following. Oh, and remember to provide boundaries and keep adding your painful lessons learned. Compound. When you end up repeating yourself, turn that into a slash command. In Claude code, we can manage our rule files and so-called memories at the project level so that we can share with our team or across projects in our own home folder to apply across all sessions. We can even organize our instructions in subfolders for modular rules in our projects. Claude code also supports symlinks to share common rules across multiple projects. The most effective Claude MD or agent rule file solve real problems. As Anthropic put it in their guide, they document the commands you type repeatedly, capture the architectural context that takes 10 minutes to explain, and establish workflows that prevent rework. Your file should reflect how your team actually develops software, not theoretical best practices that sound good, but don't match reality. And there you have it. That's the deep dive on better rule files and context engineering for AI-assisted coding. Start simple, Add instructions when you hit friction, keep it concise, and version control it. And remember, this is how compounding engineering actually works. Every painful debugging session, every rabbit hole, every, oh, that's why it broke, capture it. Teach your AI to learn from its mistakes. Over time, your context file becomes institutional knowledge that makes every future session better. If you haven't watched the 10 tips video yet, check that out next. It covers the full picture of AI-assisted coding workflows. There's a link in the description below. I hope you found this video helpful. Drop a comment with what's in your Claude MD or agent file. What instructions have made the biggest difference for you? Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.